As Sarah Finch her deeper into the forest, a sense of tranquility surrounded her. The sunlight filtered through the thick canopy of trees, casting dappled shadows on the forest floor. The chirping of birds and rustling of leaves created a symphony of nature that enveloped her. But as the hours passed and Sarah trekked further, the woods began to grow unnaturally silent. The chirping of birds ceased, and an unsettling stillness settled upon the forest. Sarah glanced at her map, a hint of concern creasing her brow. She had veered off the designated trail, and now found herself in an unfamiliar part of the woods. As Sarah attempted to retrace her steps, a shroud of mist descended, obscuring her surroundings. Panic gripped her heart as the familiar landmarks faded into a hazy blur. In her pace, desperate to find her way back to the safety of the trail. Minutes turned into hours as Sarah wandered through the labyrinthine forest. Her heart pounded in her chest, each step becoming more uncertain than the last. She called out for help, but her cries seemed to dissolve into the thick air, swallowed by the oppressive silence. It was then, in the midst of her desperation, that she caught a glimpse of a figure in ominous shadowy silhouette darting between the trees. Sarah's breath caught in her throat as she watched the figure move with an uncanny grace. Fear rooted her to the spot as the figure drew closer, its presence radiating an undeniable sense of malevolence. As the shadowy figure advanced, Sarah's survival instincts kicked in. She fled, her footsteps pounding against the forest floor. But no matter how fast she ran, the figure maintained a steady pursuit, its presence an ever-looming threat. The shadowy figure seemed to possess an otherworldly speed, effortlessly closing the gap between them. Sarah's heart raced with a mix of fear and adrenaline, her mind desperately seeking a way to escape the relentless pursuit. Hours turned into days, and still, the shadowy figure remained steadfast in its chase. Sleep became a luxury, as the figure haunted Sarah's every waking moment. Its presence permeated her dreams, its dark form etched into her consciousness. In the woods, a peculiar stone altar stood at its center, its worn engravings telling tales of ancient rituals and forgotten lore. Driven by a glimmer of hope, Sarah dared to confront the shadowy figure. She stepped forward, her voice trembling yet determined. Who are you? She called out into the stillness of the clearing. To her astonishment, the shadowy figure spoke a disembodied voice filled with sorrow and longing. I am the spirit of a lost soul, it whispered. Trapped in these woods, I seek redemption and release. Sarah's empathy welled within her, for she too had experienced the weight of being lost. She offered her assistance, vowing to uncover the truth and help the spirit find the peace it sought. Guided by the spirit's haunting whispers, Sarah embarked on a quest to unveil the secrets of the woods. She delved into local legends and spoke with elders who remembered tales of the forest's dark past. She discovered that the woods had once been a sacred place, its tranquility disrupted by a heinous act committed long ago. The spirit that pursued Sarah was a victim of that crime, an innocent soul bound to the woods, unable to find rest until justice was served. With newfound determination, Sarah searched for the key to the spirit's redemption. Hi guys, thank you she so sought the assistance of a renowned paranormal investigator, Dr. Jonathan Harris, who had dedicated his life to understanding the supernatural. Together, they unraveled the layers of the forest's history, digging deep into the shadows of forgotten truths. Their investigation led them to a hidden cave, where they discovered a forgotten shrine and offering to the spirits that had been desecrated by those seeking forbidden power. 
Armed with the knowledge they had uncovered, Sarah and Dr. Harris performed a ritual at the shrine, hoping to free the spirit from its tormented existence. The forest echoed with incantations, the air heavy with the weight of ancient powers. As the ritual reached its climax, a blinding light pierced through the darkness, illuminating the cave. Sarah felt a surge of energy as the spirit's presence shifted a mix of relief and gratitude washing over her. In that moment, the shadowy figure transformed into a gentle glow of benevolent spirit finally freed from its torment. It spoke its final words of gratitude and vanished, leaving Sarah and Dr. Harris in awe of the power they had witnessed. As the forest settled into a newfound calm, Sarah emerged from the woods, forever changed by her harrowing experience. Thank you so much for watching. The shadows that had pursued her were now replaced with the whispers of redemption and the solace of a spirit finally at rest. She returned to her normal life, carrying the lessons and memories of the shadowy figure and the enigmatic woods. Her journey through darkness had taught her resilience, empathy, and the power of seeking the truth. Years later, Sarah became an advocate for the preservation of the forest, urging others to respect its ancient power and remember the stories that lingered within its depths. And though the forest held its secrets close, it became a place of solace and healing, where lost souls could find peace and wanderers could rediscover their purpose. Sarah's encounter with the shadowy figure remained etched in her heart as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the transformative power of compassion. In the aftermath of her encounter with the shadowy figure, Sarah couldn't shake the lingering feeling that there was more to the story. The forest, once a source of tranquility, now held an air of unease. Whispers of the shadowy figure's presence persisted, and Sarah couldn't help but feel a connection to the lingering darkness. Driven by a need for closure, Sarah embarked on a personal journey of introspection and research. She explored ancient texts and sought out the wisdom of spiritual guides, hoping to uncover the truth behind the shadowy figure's origins and its relentless pursuit of her. Through her studies, Sarah learned of a forgotten ritual, one that could allow her to communicate directly with the spirits that dwell within the woods. Tree get apprehensive, she decided to perform the ritual, her heart filled with a mix of curiosity and trepidation. Underneath the canopy of the ancient forest, Sarah prepared for the ritual. She lit candles, burned sacred herbs, and chanted ancient incantations.